He waited for Agiko to go to the bathroom to ask me something. I've been thinking. You and I, in your new bed? I'm listening. Yes, would you let me sleep over? I'm sorry you're upset. I just want to teach your boyfriend a thing or two. But that's how I would wake up the old, immature Hiroki. It would make sense only if this happened to your cousin. Or a girl you like. He lifted my chin, making me look him in the eye. The heart can't choose. I can't I couldn't even describe how uncomfortable I felt when my boyfriend said we had to talk. Luckily, the others turned to each other and started talking so they didn't pay much attention to us. Don't make a scene about this. I didn't even know Hiroki lived in this building. Do you know someone who'd believe that? Because I certainly wouldn't. I want us to talk about this in private. Fine, I guess we have to do this now. I'll neglect my other guests just to humor you. But you'll say a word about that. You'll see. Yes, cuz they'll think we went somewhere private to smooch. What's so bad about that? Fine, come with me. We were standing in the hallway which led to my bedroom. While the others were sitting on the couch in the living room. They couldn't see or hear us, so I asked him to tell me what was on his mind. Here you go. The stage is all yours. I admit, I sometimes act rashly. But I don't like to be the last one to find out what's going on. That's why I'd like to know how Hiroki was treating you. You'd reassure me that way. Hiroki is a very considerate guy, and he respects me as his cousin's friend. He's protective over us. But I think that's because of Akiko. There's nothing more to it. He treats you as if he was your older brother? No, he treats me like somebody he's just met. He's polite. Thanks for clearing things up. I just needed to get myself together. I was looking at him, and I couldn't believe how little it took him to stop being angry. As if he got all his confidence back in a second. The confidence he lost when he saw Hiroki. I'm glad you got back to reality. Your voice always brings me back to reality. I'd be lost without you. I'm here for you. Hiroki has been in your life only for a week. He already did more for you than me. No, he did a favor to his cousin. I hugged him and felt his heart beating like crazy. I caressed his hair and gently kissed him to calm him down. He kissed me back and let go a sigh of relief. We didn't notice Akiko who peeked around the corner. You two are so cute! You're hiding so you can kiss! We'll be right back with you, Akiko. We just need a moment alone. We're waiting for you! Akiko glanced at me and seeing how upset I was, she immediately understood what was going on. That was why she took the matters into her own hands and tried to smooth things out. Our lovebirds needed a moment alone. How romantic is that? It's all normal and natural. I remember the last time I was in love. You sound like it was ages ago. To me, it feels like an eternity. It's been a while since I felt that excitement, and I long for it. They should take their time. We'd all love to be them right now. Hiroki, you're gonna be the only romantic in the family. Cheers to that! Wait for us. Cheers. Good luck with the new apartment, girls. We toasted and spent a fun night together. We even threw pillows on the floor and sat on them to be more comfortable. By the end of the party, when all the guests were gone, my boyfriend was in a much better mood than when he'd come. He waited for Agiko to go to the bathroom to ask me something. I've been thinking. You and I, in your new bed? I'm listening. Yes. 
Would you let me sleep over? Yes! I've thought about it the whole evening too. That would officially be the first night and the first morning we'd spend together. In bed? I think it's time to wish Akiko good night. And that was exactly what we did. Akiko the fact that my boyfriend was going to sleep over at her place. We ran into the bedroom and closed the door behind us. We were standing in the dark and using our hands to explore each other's faces. While I was working my way up to his lips, his hands had already won the battle against the buttons on my shirt. It seemed like my clothes were falling down on its own after his touch. That was one of the most beautiful nights we'd spend together. I was the happiest when I was with him, under the sheets, with our legs interlocked and my head on his shoulder. He left in the morning, after breakfast, smiling like the happiest man on earth.
Only when you look away from your phone and look through the window will you see the amazing display of rays and sunshine. However, nothing can replace the feeling of the sun gently caressing on your skin. It can't be compared to anything, just like the hug of a person you love. It can't be compared to all the received and sent love messages. I finished my paper and, to make sure it reached the right person, I wanted to hand it to the professor myself. I trusted technology less and less. This day is so inspiring. I want to dress according to my good mood. I'll wear whatever. Maybe nobody will see me on my way to college. I heard a familiar beat coming from the apartment above ours. That was Hiroki, practicing. He got the tune wrong and stopped playing. I continued walking, and then I heard him calling me from the window. Hello, neighbor. I'd say good morning, but you don't look too good. You got that right. I have to go to college, and I barely got out of bed. Wait just one moment. I'm going your way. Fine, but hurry up. Hiroki was in front of the building in less than a minute. You're going to college, too? No, I'm gonna take a walk. I haven't played the piano in a while, and I'm a bit rusty. I'm going to the park to meditate and gather the mental strength I need. I want to wake up my creative side. You could teach me how to wake up my creative side as well. Gladly, but you told me you were in a rush. My main problem is that I want everything, and then I do literally nothing. Or I do everything, but nothing is as good as it should be. You're indecisive because you worry too much. You want to make everybody happy. When you start thinking about yourself only, you'll become the best version of yourself. I'll try to follow your advice. You're older and have more experience. <laughs> I'm not that old. We were walking and talking all the way to the intersection. Hiroki turned right and stepped at the crosswalk. Well, I continued straight. He called out to me. We could continue talking if you'd come with me. Why don't you take a shortcut through the park? I'm glad you suggested that. The idea of walking through the park before confronting the challenges of the college will calm me down. I'm glad you accepted it because of one simple reason. I can spend more time with you and get to know you better. Yes, same. His words, even though they didn't have to mean anything, made me blush. The fact someone's enjoying your company is always nice. What's even better is when that someone is your hot neighbor. The park was beautiful at that time of year. The sound of the water, the warm breeze, and the birds chirping were all so calming. Hiroki was walking next to me with his hands in his pockets, his eyes closed. I was wondering how he could see where he was going. You know this park like the back of your hand, right? That's why you don't look where you're going? I see everything, actually. I even see you smiling when you're looking at me. I wasn't... Oh, you're just guessing. And I'm glad I was right. Look around you. Let's stop to listen to the sounds of nature. It's calm. I could spend the entire day here and enjoy the bliss that this park offers. Come, I'll show you my favorite place. We sat on the bench that was in the shade of a rose. People couldn't see us sitting there, and we had a lovely view of the lake across us. I see now why you chose this place for your meditation. It's peaceful, and you can only hear the sound of water. I just don't get one thing. Just say it. I'm here for all your questions. What do you do for a living? I think you must have some job because you have to pay your bills. Money doesn't grow on trees. That's a good question. I usually don't tell this to anybody. But since you're my cousin's friend, 
I trust you won't treat what I'm about to say to you as me bragging. No, of course not. I'll understand, even if you don't want to share everything with me. I don't want to stick my nose where it doesn't belong. I don't mind it, I'll tell you. My father owns that mall not far away from the college. I work for him, even though it's not my thing. But I have bills to pay. I can work from home, so I don't have to be in the office the entire day. Hold your horses. You want to tell me your father owns the entire mall? Yes. Ever been there? Yes, a million times. I went there with Akiko, but she never told me anything. And now you know that nobody in our family likes to brag about such things. People think of us differently. And all we want are true friends by our side. I'm so happy you're Akiko's friend. I'm happy to have her as well. Will you continue to work for your father after you graduate? I'll think about it. I'll probably have to take one part of the business. I had to learn all about female fashion. <laughs> Some girls would think of it as their dream job. My advantage is that I use all my knowledge of psychology as marketing strategies. If that's really true, Agiko and I have something else to learn from you. I'm always at your service. He gave me his hand and helped me get up. Completely unaware of it, we walked hand in hand for some time. I pulled my hand out. When we reached the park exit, which was overlooking the college yard and the outdoor basketball court, my boyfriend was there. He saw me leaving the park with Hiroki and, luckily, he didn't cause a scene, cause he saw us saying our goodbyes and walking in opposite directions. While I was walking towards the basketball court, I saw my boyfriend redirecting his attention to some girls in the bleachers who were cheering for him the entire time. He approached them, took off his t-shirt, and took a few selfies with them. I had to ignore that and go to turn in my paper. Later, on my way home, I got a notification saying that my boyfriend had been tagged in a picture with his cheerleaders. I returned to the apartment, feeling ten times worse than I did when I left it that morning. I was mad at my boyfriend, and the fact he found something he could do without me being part of it. I was wondering whether I had the right to be angry at him for that. His half-naked body on all the social networks was the last straw. You're home already? Yes. I ran into my room, not looking at Akiko, in order not to start crying. I was fuming, even though I didn't know if I had the right to behave like that. I threw my things in my bedroom and was answering to Akiko from there. What happened? Don't tell me the professor didn't accept your paper. It's not that. I have more luck with college than with love for a change. Relax and enjoy it then! Love comes and goes. Easy for you to say when you have a stable relationship with Tadaki. You're upset. It means something big is going on. Wanna come out of your room so we can talk? I got thirsty from all the walking. So I left my room to grab some drinks from the kitchen. I couldn't look Akiko in the eye. Will you talk to me, please? You're scaring me! I peeked into the fridge, took a cold juice, and let the door off the fridge slam shut. She won't tell me what's going on with her. She didn't even notice you were here. Shh. Let her blow off some steam. She'll feel better, and then you can talk to her. I'll go. I downed the cold juice and started talking like crazy about those cheerleaders. There's nothing to tell. My boyfriend has fans. Open the social networks and see for yourself. You'll get everything. And he's being jealous of Hiroki? At that moment, I turned around and saw Akiko and Hiroki looking at me in disbelief. 
Hiroki put his hands over his face to hide either shame or laughter. I couldn't tell. Surprise! We have a visitor! Akiko, why didn't you tell me we weren't alone? Well, I tried, but you were fuming and babbling. I've never seen you like this. You scared me. I'll leave you girls to talk. Hiroki, you've heard more than you should have already. I'm embarrassed now. Don't be ashamed of how you feel, ever. We were all in a situation like yours. More or less, sometimes. It wasn't just that. I'm embarrassed you know that my boyfriend is jealous of you. You should feel good about that now. For example, I don't mind it one bit. Hiroki gave me his hand and led me to the couch. He made me sit down between him and Akiko. He didn't let go of my hand while Akiko was stroking my hair. I'm angry at myself, not at him. Am I losing my mind? No, that's completely normal. I know myself. My advice is to talk to your boyfriend when you calm down completely. Tell him what bothered you, and see his reaction. A guy who wants to keep his girlfriend won't let anything stand in his way. Thank you both for your advice. And I apologize for my behavior. Don't apologize! Now I can behave like that and we'll be even! <laughs> Deal. Okay, girls. Grab some ice cream now and go watch a movie. And avoid the romantic ones. See ya! See you, Hiroki! Here, she will walk you out. Akiko pushed me off the couch, and I couldn't say no. Not after the scene I made before. I walked him to the front door, and he used the opportunity to talk to me eye to eye. I'm sorry you're upset. I just want to teach your boyfriend a thing or two. But that's how I would wake up the old, immature Hiroki. It would make sense only if this happened to your cousin. Or a girl you like, who... He lifted my chin, making me look him in the eye. The heart can't choose. That's why it's so hard when it's broken. You can't choose what to feel. He was speaking the truth. That was when I felt the exact same thing he was saying. His words found their way into my heart. I felt it skipped a beat. I had a lump in my throat. We didn't say another word. I closed the door and tried to calm down a bit. Did Hiroki leave? What took you so long? Yes, he left. Sit down, I want to talk to you. You'll feel much better. I don't think I will. There's a thing that is scaring me. My reaction. Every girl would be upset if they were you. But I'm more afraid of his reaction. And you know yourself that by doing nothing, you'll only make things worse. It's time to look into my heart and see who's inside. Yes, it's time for an intervention. 